Today, our News 8 Storm Team forecast says partly sunny, areas of fog for the morning. Temperatures will be warm and it'll be muggy with uh, 76 degrees at 9. For the afternoon, partly sunny, few thunderstorms around. Notice our impacts begin late this afternoon into the evening, and that's because we could see another round of thunderstorms that would produce damaging wind gusts and heavy rain as the two main threats today. Tonight, mostly cloudy, those scattered shower storms end early tonight. Areas of fog will redevelop and lows will fall into the 60s. Tomorrow, a bit more cloud cover, and that may hold down our severe threat. So the good news is we get more beneficial rain without the severe weather for the weekend. So 82 to 86 tomorrow, cooling off from that stretch of 90s we've had this week. Currently, it's 67 in Harrisburg, 68 in Sealands Grove. We have 70 out the door in Gettysburg. Dew points, not quite as steamy as they have been, but it's still warm and still muggy out and about this morning. Weather and health check. Our grass and weed pollen is down to moderate levels today. Mold spores remain high. Air quality is moderate. And and the UV index moderate with a burn time of 35 minutes. Right now, some clouds, some showers rolling over Lancaster County, parts of York County. All of this was coming up from Baltimore and D.C. overnight, so it is weakened considerably. Nothing strong, nothing severe. Just some good old rain there in southern Lancaster County as we speak. Bigger picture here shows a cold front draped right across Pennsylvania. That's going to provide the focus for more storms later today. So that's why the Storm Prediction Center has again put us in this slight risk for severe weather, meaning any storms that fire up late this afternoon into the evening could produce heavy rain, damaging wind gusts and even some hail. We saw some of that yesterday, a little more than expected too. It was quarter size in some spots a little larger. So here's what the predictor shows. Today we see quiet weather I think to start for the most part. Then the second half of the day toward evening, that's when the showers, thunderstorms blossom. They wind down early tonight and tomorrow we start out on a dry note. Tomorrow though, that boundary that I mentioned still lingering overhead. So that focuses more rain chances on top of the Susquehanna Valley. Not a washout, but highest chance on Saturday comes toward evening. And Sunday, we'll see some scattered activity, I think, throughout the day as well as that front slowly limps eastward. Here's the tropics update for you. Category 5, can you believe it? Hurricane Lee, just two days ago, it was a tropical storm. So this is a powerhouse hurricane right now moving over the open Atlantic. That's the good news. Large swells, though, rough surf for the islands here, especially as the storm heads closer to the Caribbean. Now, we also have Margo out there. This one, well out to sea, just over the open Atlantic. That storm will not impact any land. 10-day forecast. Cast. Numbers, they're going down a little bit into the weekend, lower 80s by Sunday. Next week, we even have a stretch of 70s in store with overnight lows dipping into the 50s. So I'm really excited for this taste of fall. Boy, it was a hot week, but next week doesn't look anything like it.